We've been reporting for a few weeks about how the real estate market is reacting to mortgage rates around 7%. It seems pretty clear that sales volume has dipped as rates moved up. Home buyers simply hold off making offers when it gets a little more expensive. Rates have inched lower in the last three weeks since, since that spike, but they're still pretty close to 7%. The Housing Wire Mortgage Tracker has the 30-year fixed mortgage rate at 6.7% now. There are measurably fewer sales happening than when rates were closer to 6% earlier in the year. Uh, the sales rate bounced up a little bit after the Memorial Day holiday, as it does, uh, but the bounce was not super strong this week. So as a result, we are no longer gaining ground on the sales pace from last year, uh, like we have been for the first five months of the year. Uh, what will be interesting to watch is how this slowdown compares to last year's slowdown. Uh, in July last year, the housing market really hit the brakes with home sales volume and home prices moving lower. So even as this market slows with persistently higher mortgage rates, right now, the year-over-year -year comparisons get easier. So we'll tease out those details today. Every week, of course, Altos Research tracks every home for sale in the country. We analyze all the pricing, all the supply and demand, all the changes in that data, and we make it available to you before you see it in the traditional channels. That's why, you know, when we're looking in the data and we see evidence of this like surprising level of home buyer demand that we've seen this spring, and then maybe some evidence of demand slowing a bit right now, like that's how we can tell. I'm Mike Simonson. I'm the founder of Altos Research. And let's look at the data as we approach the peak of the home buying season this June 2023. There are 443,000 single family homes on the market right now. That's up one and a half percent from last week and only 11, 11.7% more than a year ago. By July, we'll have negative year over year inventory changes. Fewer homes on the market than last year by July. And I suppose this will hold true really as long as mortgage rates don't spike again, like over 7%. The trend is very clear though. We know that home buyers are willing to pause when the conditions are not in their favor. In July of last year, and again in September, home buyers stopped and inventory spiked in those times. The trend that we're on now with declining inventory due to very few sellers and more buyers and that 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 trend has slowed but uh, is still intact generally intact see the dark red line here is how the trajectory you can see how the trajectory will cross the light red line by sometime next month fewer home sales fewer homes available negative year over year inventory change so lots of people are asking when will we finally get some inventory? Uh, and that's really the topic of our monthly webinar this week, Thursday, June 15th. When will we finally see some home sellers? Um, what's going to bring them out? And I'm going to share some of the best details on the topic. And I'll also dispel some of the myths that I keep hearing people talk about where inventory might come from. Uh, these webinars are limited to a thousand attendees each month, and we get far more interest in that. So if you need to communicate with buyers and sellers right now about what's happening in this crazy, surprising real estate market, there's a link in the description below. You should click that and join us on Thursday for the webinar. Inventory has been critical in this real estate market. And I've, though, been watching the sales rate very closely in the last few weeks to see the impact of the 7% mortgage rates. By mid-June, most of the year's 
you know, by mid June most years, uh, the, the sales more sales are completing than are starting. So the total number of homes in contract reaches its seasonal peak. And that's what happened this week. There are now 389,000 single family homes in the contract pending stage. That's 3% fewer than last week and 15% fewer than last year at this time. So at the far right end of the chart here, you'll see the the dark bar dips this week. That's an indication we have fewer offers getting made. The dark bar here is the total count of homes in contract. These are sales that are not yet complete. Uh, they'll close in June, July, and August mostly. The rate of home sales had been ca catching up with uh, the rate from last year, but the, that momentum's really stalled the last three weeks with the mortgage rates around 7% again. So uh, it's this sales volume where we can see buyer demand slow first. Home prices haven't adjusted yet, but we can see people wait to make their offers to see if rates dip lower again. It's uh, interesting now that uh, you know we see set sensitivity in the sales volume rather than home prices. You can imagine that it would take persistently higher rates with persistently fewer offers before pr home prices start to adjust again. Uh, but that actually could happen as early as like July, like it did last year, if rates stay high or, or move higher from here. The median price of single family homes in the US actually ticked up this week to $454,900. In this view of home prices, they're stacked year by year, so you can see the comparison with last year's light red line. And it's been harder and harder each week all year. Home prices in 2022 were still climbing all spring. Uh, June is almost always the peak of pricing. and home prices moved down in the second half of the year. And so you can see why by the end of 2023, we'll be roughly flat home prices versus last year. When we look at the price of the homes that people are buying, we don't really see evidence yet of home prices falling due to the higher rate. So these are the homes that are going into contract each week, the price of the newly pending home sales. It ticked up by 1% this week to $384,000. Uh, I included this view this week because it's notable that we may be now entering this period where the comparisons to last year get so much easier. Last year, June in June, mortgage rates uh, hit their peak from the spring, spring climb. And, and buyers reacted. So you can see the light red line here. The price of the homes that people were buying dipped uh, big and then in July and then again in September. They did big in June and then again in September. And that those when in September was when mortgage rates spiked again to like seven and a half percent. So the difference, what's different now is that we see the seven percent rates are felt first in the volume, but not yet in the sales prices. The median price of the newly sold cohort is a little volatile. So like this isn't a trend yet, but it is something to keep our eye on. Uh, most of the other price measures we track at Altos are staying rel relatively stable still. So our year over year sales price comparisons get much easier now because you could see when the home prices started to adjust last year. If mortgage rates drift back lower, then you can imagine that the transaction volume will pick up again, inventory will fall, and we will not see sales uh, downward pressure on sales prices. As of today, there uh, we haven't really seen sellers panic or, or cut prices very much yet. There are just 30.7% of the market which has taken a price cut. That's up 40 basis points from last week, 3.3%. Uh, it, you'd expect that change in June. And last year, though, the home price slowdown was really obvious. Price reductions at the time were kicking in by 140 or 180 basis points per week. And now it's just 30 or 40. Uh, at the time last year, we could easily measure this slowdown. And we talked at that time that that meant that home sales, which completed in 
August or or J- July or August of last year, those would have lower prices, right? We could see it now in the price reductions. This year, price trends have been much more supported and that therefore we can see that we have purchases for the available inventory at these rates, at these prices, surprisingly. Uh, just a reminder that we have our June webinar this Thursday, June 15th at 10 a.m. Pacific. We will be looking at all the local markets, all the inventory. When will we finally see some homes on the market? Um, and what conditions will get us inventory? We'll look at what we can already see in the data for the second half of the year. And we'll have another week with rates around 7%. So we'll see if that change is, is temporary or if it, you know, that that demand kicks in lower for the second half of the year like it did last year. There's a link in the description below to reserve your spot for the webinar, so click that to join us. If you need to communicate about the housing market to buyers and sellers, you should join us for that webinar. Uh, You can also always go to altosresearch.com and book a free consult with our team. We'll look at your local markets and how to use real estate market data in your business today. Thanks.